special this morning, we're taking a closer look at what it'll take for us to reach herd immunity to COVID-19 and get back to some kind of normal. Dr. Anthony Fauci now predicting some degree of normalcy will exist by the beginning of 2022. Leading disease experts say between 75 and 80 percent of the population needs to be vaccinated to achieve herd immunity. And so far in Western New York and the Southern Tier, 93% of all the doses those regions received have been administered. New York State has administered 86% of the doses it received from the federal government. And if we take a look across the entire country, 78% of doses given to governments have been administered. Still, just one in 10 Americans has gotten at least one dose of the vaccine. And for the University of Buffalo's leading infectious disease expert, that is far from enough still well short of the levels we need to achieve herd immunity. However, given the fact that there's a diminishing number of hosts that the virus can effectively cause infection, this is a major contributor for driving our numbers down. But Dr. Russo, who you just heard from, is also optimistic this vaccination rollout will speed up and we will get closer to herd immunity. It all hinges, though, on another player on the vaccine field. All new for you this morning, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya is going in-depth looking at what goes into approving this vaccine and what it means for getting us to herd immunity. University of Buffalo's Dr. Thomas Russo says reaching herd immunity is the key to ending the COVID-19 pandemic. When could we reach that herd immunity and things start to reopen, start to ease up on those social public health measures and get back to normal? So I'm hoping that we'll get the critical number of individuals vaccinated sometime by June or maybe the beginning of July. We would like to achieve herd immunity through vaccination. So we want to include those individuals that have already been infected. I think the bottleneck in supply is going to be significantly alleviated over the next month. They will increase their amount of doses available significantly over the next few weeks. And uh, hopefully the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will be approved sometime in the next week or so. How could the Johnson & Johnson vaccine getting approved, quite frankly, be a game changer in getting people vaccinated? Approval of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will be helpful on two fronts. First, it's a single dose. So the logistics is much easier. Also, it's gonna significantly increase the supply. So it'll uh, really uh, help uh, decrease those waiting lines of people that are desperately waiting to be vaccinated. According to ABC, 100 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine could be ready by June, pending FDA approval. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.